Did you feel the energy in this room? I think I could have just left for a half hour and come back. I've been a registered nurse for 36 years, and I have been to a lot of conferences, and never, I've never had uh, anyone uh, have any communication with me or any of my other colleagues after the fact. It's just they come in, they do whatever, they give you a piece of paper, a power, PowerPoint presentation, they get back on the plane, nice knowing you, off they go. So let's not talk about all the, the horrible, horrific things that we have to deal with and all the change that's impossible and all the crisis and the problems because that's what we normally focus on. Let's talk about how do we take care of us, the humans that have to keep this going because we don't have any control over all the other stuff. We only have control over how we respond. So this afternoon we're going to talk about and experience seven different resilience skills. So how can we be our best and do our best every day in all areas of our lives? By using resilience, by practicing resilience, by living with resilience. So today, I don't want to give you one more thing to do. Nobody knows any more to do. But maybe you look at things like what you're already doing a little differently. If you look at your handout, there's lots of white space. And I think we all need a little more white space in our lives. We're so crammed and busy and we keep stacking and stacking and it's more, more, more all the time. And so this afternoon, think about the next couple of hours is just creating some space. Some space to, to exhale, some space to maybe look at things a little differently, be a little more creative, be a little more open, a little more expansive many workshops that we go to it and then we put the materials in the desk drawer and they never resurface. Having a 30-day practice where we had the text with you know, a five-minute exercise, whatever it was for that day, it kept us connected. I really like the structure that Diane gave us. The one-day workshop was, was wonderful. Certain practices that we do help us be mindful. You can't just say it, or think it, or read about it. You have to practice it like everything else. And so practicing lets us focus on one thing at a time. The first practice is beginner's mind. This is like looking at things through the eyes of a child, with, with a curiosity, with an awe, with a wonder. If you ever watch children on a playground, they are so excited to be swinging on those swings and sliding down the slides and picking up the sand and eating it. They're just, it, it's like it's brand new every single time because they haven't learned those three words that we as adults use a lot. I know that. As soon as I say it or I think it, I'm off someplace else, aren't I? I'm not here anymore. I'm not present with you. I've moved on because I know that already. So what if, you, what if you actually approached your next staff meeting or conference call or evaluation with a beginner's mind, with, an, with an, open, an openness to the possibilities, as if it was the first time? I really found Diane's talk today really inspiring. I've been working a long time to try to figure out how to re-engage the staff and help them see that you know, changing the environment is owned by them. I can only help them so much and I feel like this was a lot of a job start. Um, I had a moment to talk to some of my colleagues, some of the people that work in my department and they were excited. Resilience isn't just about bouncing back in adversity. It's a sense of overall well-being. It's how we show up every day. Resilience doesn't mean you don't experience stress and challenge in your life. It just means you have skills and tools to navigate. Resilience is something you're born with or not. It's, it's accumulation of our feelings, our thoughts, our behaviors. And it can be learned and developed by anybody. 
I would recommend Diane to um, any corporation, whether it's healthcare, um, law enforcement, uh, whatever it might be. I think that this is a meaningful activity for so many populations of people um, that need to reset and reinvigorate. I would highly recommend her because she keeps everyone in the, in the audience engaged and participating. It really makes you stop and think how you approach your own life. I think it's awesome that there's different levels to this um, experience. We all want to create and sustain a resilient culture. I'd love to talk to you if you want to create a resilient culture in your organization. That you can continue to thrive in healthcare and not just survive.